Hi, this video is about populating the Liberty High School Curricular Resources website. If you're watching this, you've been selected to create pages or add content. This particular tutorial is about adding the courses to your subject area page. And that's it. So basically I'm on the website and it's at sites.google.com backslash a backslash basdschools.org backslash LHS underscore curriculum. So when you get to the website, you're going to have, um, depending on who you are, different privileges to access different parts of the course. You may be able to view some parts of the course and edit others. Um, typically, if you're not teaching a certain subject area, you may not have access to that. Um, so what I'm doing, what I'm here right now is I'm actually on uh, a page that I've already created and to show you how you could populate that page as well. The um, subjects are all along the left hand side. Uh, so if you click on the name of the subject, it will take you to the page, the starting page. And most of them in this example right now are blank. So the instruction is please click on the course to access those resources. And basically there aren't any courses on the page. That's where you come in. Uh, if you're uh, just starting, you will need to add the courses to your page. So just looking at the English page again, I'll tell you what I did to do that. Uh, and this will, anywhere that you have the ability to edit and make changes, when you go up to the uh, upper level of the page, you will see some editing tools if you have permissions to make changes. You click on the pencil and it's going to load an editor. And it's very much like a wiki works where you would click on edit page. Same principle. So here uh, I had previously typed in names of courses. So I just typed it, uh, did a return, and then typed the next name and so on and so forth. Uh, what I also did was I formatted it a certain way. If you want your page to look the same way, I used the 10 point formatting tool. Um, so this is your text formatting along the top and there are a lot of functions just like your uh, Microsoft Word. Um, the other thing that I did was I went to this format menu. There are four main menus here. The format menu, there are some predetermined um, text types. So if you had headings, um, very much like your word processing, you would be able to choose that here. And I believe uh, when I went to do this before I made the recording, I saw that it was on minor heading. Okay. Um, and they're linked right now, but that's because I kind of went through and did this. What I also m recommend to make it a little bit easier on the eyes is just highlight your text and go to the bullet list icon at the top and then click on that. So they become bullets. It, it makes it, it lines everything up. Sometimes when you're using Google sites, things aren't really aligned correctly like they would be in a regular word processing program. And I, I find that doing things like putting bullets there really kind of straightens it out. And that's it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click on save. And then I have all of my classes. So um, before you go on, um, to the next tutorial about creating pages for each of these, you want to go through and list all the classes that you want uh, that are associated with your uh, subject area. All right, thanks.